Welcome to a video on the CatMe online peer assessment tool. This is a guide for student users. In this video, I'll go through the steps on registering your CatMe student account, completing the calibration evaluation, completing a peer assessment, viewing your results, and obtaining your peer assessment factor. You will receive a welcome message from the CatMe system sent to your student email. Follow the link to register for a new CatMe student account. You must use your student email to create a new account. Peer assessment reminders, deadlines and results will be sent to this account. Your instructor may ask you to complete a calibration prior to completing a peer assessment. It's highly recommended that students complete the calibration in order to familiarise with the interface and the structure of surveys. Use your student email to log in and access the interface calibration on the top right. There are eight steps in the calibration. Click View Team to start the calibration. You are given a hypothetical team on which you will base your evaluation. Click Complete Activity to begin. You evaluate the hypothetical team based on categories chosen by your instructor. Some of these may include contribution, interaction, keeping on track, expecting quality, knowledge and skills. You can hover your mouse over the names of each individual to review the descriptions again. Once you are finished, you are given feedback on your calibration by the CatMe system. Be sure to go through these carefully. Each coloured arrow is an indication of how your rating compared to the expected value of the hypothetical team. Once you are done, you can return to the main page. You are now ready to complete a peer assessment of your team upon the completion of your project. Upon the completion of a project, you should complete a peer assessment as soon as you can. Invitations to complete the peer assessment will be sent to your student email. You can log into CatMe and click Complete Activity. If you have not completed your peer assessment, upon the completion of a project, you will receive email reminders. Your peer assessment will be the same format and structure as the calibration, except you won't have descriptions of your peers. At the end of the survey, it is advised that you leave comments to your instructor on any aspects of the team and project. This is the final step of the peer assessment. Comments are always kept confidential and will allow your instructor to better understand your team or help you resolve issues and conflicts where required. When your instructor chooses to release the results, you will receive an email notification. Log into CatMe to view how your team evaluated you and how you evaluated them. Your peer assessment results will show you how you rated yourself, how your teammates rated you, and the average rating for you and your team. The locations of the arrows indicate whether you have underrated yourself or overrated yourself. It's a comparison of your rating versus the combined ratings of your teammates. You may also see recommendations on improving your rating in a particular category if your instructor has enabled it. In some projects, your instructor may choose to include the calculation of a peer assessment factor. It's calculated based on ratings made by each team member of themselves and their teammates. This factor may or may not take into consideration student self-ratings. Your instructor should specify. The peer assessment factor is not returned to the student via CatMe. It is downloaded by your instructor. Your instructor may choose to release each student's peer assessment factor confidentially. The peer assessment factor is used by the instructor to scale team-based marks. You should refer to your instructor for more information about how they intend to use the peer assessment factor. Thank you for watching and good luck.